Hi, I'm Iggy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do seam tracking with the Cooper app on Lincoln Electric Cobots. Very easy to do. All we have to do is turn it on if it's available on your machine. If it's not, go ahead and call our tech support line. They should be able to help you make sure you're on the right version or anything like that. So let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a regular linear weld. Now this does have to be in like a V groove or something like that. It can't be like a lap joint or anything like that. We can't, we gotta make sure it doesn't melt off the edge of the weld itself. So just like regular, we're gonna go start here. We're gonna jog that machine to our first weld point. And then we're gonna make that right about here. We're gonna press that green button. Then we're gonna go to the end of our weld. And we're gonna hold that green button down. From there, we're just gonna go ahead and jog out. And we're good to go. So, the one thing that we have to realize here is it is literally all just weld settings for seam tracking to work. So, we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the weld settings. We're gonna go to edit weld. And we're gonna go to the uh, weld by numbers. So inside the weld by numbers, we do have to make sure that there is a weave to this and any job or any weld number above four, so five, six, seven, and eight will automatically have a weave. If you're doing thinner material and you still wanna have a weave, we're gonna have to create that into a custom setup again, call our tech support line to go into the details for that. But as long as we are in uh, number five or higher again, we can go ahead and edit this. So we'll go over here. We'll just go ahead and name this seam tracking. Seam track. And we'll just okay there. Boom, we'll copy that. It'll go into our custom welds. And in here, we're just gonna go here and make sure to edit this. Now, here's the big part. We gotta turn that seam tracking on, so we're just gonna make sure we are tracking to the center of the weld. After that, we just gotta save. Press OK. Make sure we're set on seam track. Boom, perfect. And we are done. So, from here, if I were to run my job, I would do a linear weld right down here with a little bit of weave, right? So once this weld is done, if for whatever reason, my tooling or something got out of position to where that V-groove was not exactly in the same exact place, like if I were to physically move this job, now I would crash into the torch here, which I can show you. I would crash the torch into the edge here as I were to go down. And boom, we should get a following error. Once we get that following error, we're gonna wanna recover from that. We'll start our job over, but when we are actually welding, it will sense the arc length and actually follow the seam. So if we go ahead and go to active welding, we can go ahead and show you that seam tracking in action. Well, as we can see, the weld followed that seam even though the job technically went off to the right hand side and should have crashed. This way, if your tooling or something like that is not exactly the same every single time, we're able to follow that seam. Mm -hmm. 